guys, welcome back to my channel. I told you I was going to be consistent. Can I just say, from my recent video, which I uploaded last week, I've realized I came across as a bit too prim and proper for my taste and that is not exactly how I am in real life, especially with my friends. So I'm going to turn it down a bit. Let's move on to the video. Today I'm going to be reviewing three products that I bought from Clio and it's a Korean brand. The Clio Kill Lasting Super Proof Brush Liner, the Clio Shop So Simple Waterproof Pen Liner and the Clio Waterproof Pen Liner Kill Black or Kill Brown. So the first one I'm going to test out is the Shop So Simple Waterproof Pen Liner. I got this one in brown just because brown helps my eyes to look more defined without looking too obvious and it just looks more natural this is the tip it's a felt tip liner so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do two swatches one to see how thin it can be applied and two with more pressure to see if he applies the same amount of color oh the color payoff is nearly the same so far so good there isn't any bleeding which i'm happy about in case you don't know what the term bleeding i'm referring to is this is what it means it contains 0.65 ml of product kill bill waterproof pen liner another pen liner in black this has less product than the sharp so simple this one has 065 ml and this one has 0.55 ml you'd think this one has more product because it's a thicker packaging but it's not it has less Ooh, so that's how thin it can be applied which is pretty good and if i put more pressure oh something's happening i don't like it's bleeding why is it bleeding it's very little bleeding but it's still bleeding nonetheless oh okay so this one specifically comes with my professional lip and eye remover it officially removes all makeup even waterproof hey this is a very nice and cute packaging it's got this like frosted area on the bottle it's plastic so it's not going to break easily if you carry it around with you and this is the eyeliner this one also has 0.55 ml the thinnest has more product than the other two okay i already like the brush just by looking at it because it reminds me of my holy grail dolly wink Let's see how thin it can be Ooh, that's very thin very nice very nice the color payoff is not as black as i thought let me shake it it is recommended that you shake these products before you apply so i'm gonna do another thin line next to it see if there's better color feel when i first applied it after shaking there was definitely more color payoff but when i applied another line it was kind of in between the first and the second one in terms of color i'm going to apply one with more pressure okay i like it nice very nice very nice the formula from the kill black waterproof pen liner is definitely more black this is kind of like a gray black and then this one is a black black and that's a nice brown pretty pretty much now that we have seen how they apply on the back of my hand and we've seen if they bleed or not i'm going to try them in my eyes i'm not going to try the brown one there's no bleeding whatsoever and i like the color payoff so i am very happy with it i'm going to try the two black ones should i come closer okay okay i think this is a bit awkward i'm like leaning forward <laughs> It's nice and thick and he applied very smoothly. I'm very impressed. Pen liner. Damn. That, that look good. That look good. Very good. <laughs> Excuse the pimple. <laughs> Ooh. One thing I can say for sure is I have better control of this eyeliner than the other one. I do feel like it's easier to get away with a thick eyeliner with the pen applicator. Hey! So this one is the pen liner. This one is the brush liner. There's more preciseness. Is that 
even a word. Details are so much cleaner in here. If you're the type of girl that prefers to wear thick eyeliner, I definitely do recommend the pen liner more just because easier application and less hassle. <laughs> I have my bowl of water in here. I'm just gonna put my hand there. I'm doing this. <laughs> Definitely waterproof in that sense. Um, also, I haven't noticed that the color has faded or anything. It's still, I do feel like the brown looks more intense now, which is pretty amazing. I'm going to use my fingers and see if it comes off. So, first one is the brown one. did not expect that result so if you rub it it definitely comes off look it's gone i'm gonna wet my hand again and i'm going to rub the second one let's go okay this one definitely took a bit more rubbing by the way i am rubbing this in a very gentle manner as in super gentle last one Let's try with the little ones. Oh! 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 This is definitely more waterproof. As you can see, I'm gently rubbing it. The exact same pressure I used on the brown and the other black. It's coming off, yes, but this is with continuous rubbing. Ooh! Oh my, oh my, oh my! Okay, that is pretty cool. I like results like that. I'm sorry for the continuous backlash of my light. I'm using sunlight. Yes, yes I am. I'm going to apply these three once again and I'm going to do the smudge proof test, which I should have done before using the waterproof test. So these are set. So with a dry finger. Hey. Second one. My finger is clean by the way. So rubbing and then sideways nothing last one i don't even have to try because i know for a fact nothing has come off so the three of them are definitely smudge proof like they're not coming off the Sharp So Simple one is perfect for every day, especially if you're going to wear brown. It will help just give your eyes more definition. And if you only wear mascara, but you want more volume and you have little to no lashes like me, applying a single thin line, this is gonna do the trick. It has more product than these two, and it's smudge proof and waterproof without rubbing. The Kill Black Waterproof Pen Liner. Would I recommend this? Yes, you can easily apply a thick, cat eye line. easy control it's a sponge applicator it's smudge proof it's waterproof without rubbing and color payoff is much better than the brush liner the, the kill black waterproof brush liner oh my goodness i am very happy i bought this i would rate it a 4.5 out of 5 just because it's still not 100 percent waterproof like I'm looking for a eyeliner that even if you rub it, it's not going to come off unless you use an actual eye makeup remover. That's what real waterproof is to me. And I 100% recommend these. They're definitely Pauline approved, if that's even a thing. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want me to do any specific kind of videos, please do let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you next time. Bye.